I don't think there's any question that Mahler is the composer of our time. A couple of generations ago, we might have said Beethoven is the composer who captures people mostly, but I think in a lot of ways, Mahler's the one that you can count on to get people most roused up. He's got these wow moments in his music that people just can't get enough of. Some of it, I think, comes from the totality of his music. So if, if we look to popular music as a distraction from life, we look to Mahler for a full engagement with life. Same reason maybe we climb mountains. It's to challenge us to the core and have this tremendous reward of, of perspective, of the expanse of, of experience. That's what Mahler gives us. And he famously said, a symphony must be like the world or like the universe. It must embrace everything. So profound pathos, grief. He lost seven brothers and sisters growing up but also a tremendous passion for life. He loved life. He loved to hike. He loved to work out, to ride his bicycle. He loved conversation. He loved connecting with other people, and then the next moment turning around and living in utter isolation while he was creating his work. He was a complete human being, an, an intellectual, a spiritually gifted man, somebody with great psychological insights, a great writer, a great public speaker, and of course the greatest conductor of his time. So maybe that's the final point to say is that he was a master of the full symphonic orchestra like no other. And he worked throughout his life to refine his scores to reveal both the tiniest detail of orchestration and the torrent, the, the great raging foaming seas is how he described the Fifth Symphony, he said, what will, make, what will people make of these sounds? Well, the sounds themselves were an obsession for him, and he's come to define what the modern orchestra is capable of.